Sparks are flying in the North Carolina Senate race between incumbent Democratic Senator Kay Hagan and Republican challenger Tom Tillis. In one of his latest TV ads, Tillis claims Hagan has missed more than half of her Senate Armed Service Committee's hear meet hearings and meetings at a time when ISIS is threatening our country. It's one of two claims about Hagan in Tillis's ad that WYFF News Force Tim Waller investigates in tonight's Truth Check Report. In January, President Obama refers to the Islamic State as a JV team. Days later, the Armed Services Committee holds a hearing on new global threats. Senator Kay Hagan, absent. Right out of the starting gate, North Carolina Senate hopeful Tom Tillis delivers a true statement about incumbent Kay Hagan. Now, according to records, Hagan, a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee and chairman of its subcommittee on emerging threats and capabilities, did not attend that meeting in February where ISIS and its threat to the homeland were discussed. In fact, Hagan's missed half the Armed Services Committee hearings this year. This is where things get a little more complicated because some meetings of the Senate Armed Services Committee are held behind closed doors and attendance records aren't available. So far this year, there have been 11 closed door meetings and 22 open meetings, so we can only go by the attendance for those. According to Senate records, Hagan attended nine of the 22 open meetings, which means she was there 41% of the time. Now, it isn't the worst attendance record for a Senate Armed Services Committee member. Five other senators on the 26 member panel attended fewer meetings. So, back to the claim in Tillis's TV ad that Hagan missed half of the Armed Services Committee meetings this year. Because we can't verify how many times Hagan was present for the committee's closed door meetings, we're calling this statement mostly true. By the way, Hagan's campaign says she missed that February meeting where ISIS was discussed because she had a constituent meeting with a former U.S. Marine who claimed families were getting sick and in some cases dying from contaminated tap water at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. In our next truth check, in one of her ads, Hagan blames Tillis for cutting $500 million from education in North Carolina. We'll see if the claim in her ad is true. And be sure to check out our other truth check reports. Just head to our website and click on the politics section under the news tab on WYF.